Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wyoming Blessed with Tish and if you haven't done so already please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when a video is uploaded and don't forget to share this video. Anyways today is get to know me Sunday but it's actually Halloween so I hope y'all are having a happy Halloween and safe. Stay safe of course but you'll see this on Sunday. So today, y'all, what I planned on making was a king crab grilled cheese. And then I realized that I ate too much of the king crab in the last video. <laughs> it happens. Anyway, so this is, of course, a keto-friendly meal. So we have tomato, basil, mozzarella salad uh, with a very little bit of balsamic reduction on it that I reduced myself so I can control the portion. It's about a teaspoon because a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar has three carbs and for me that's just too much. So it's just a little bit. It's got a little bit of garlic salt on it and then I got ready to do the video and I'm like that's not enough. Like that's not appealing. So I whipped up some quick shrimp scampies. We have four of those and that's just in the Kerrygold butter and a uh, little bit of garlic. So that's what we have today. Today we're trying a new one. Vanilla and cream. Y'all I am exhausted. I spent the last how many days? Five days hunting, working, uh, walking well over two miles a day. I'm exhausted. The hunting is done. There is a short clip on my Instagram at Wyoming Blessed with Tish of um, our adventures if you want to look at that. And this tomato is out of my garden. I have very few of those left. Mm. This is so good and simple. It's so simple. And that's fresh mozzarella pearls. Ooh. That tastes very similar to cream soda. It does. Yesterday was our last hunt day because my dad got his deer. Y'all, I was last minute too. Mm. Just happened to come around the corner and there he was. But I'm telling you, we spent hours beyond hours driving and didn't see anything. And then we went around to this other area because it's a big area and right on the side of the highway of course is a big old buck and you can't shoot off the highway it's illegal and my dad's like of course so he ended up getting just a little two-pointer or three by two and uh, so my stepmom outbeat him if you go look on Instagram hers is on there much bigger so last night was like just to make it clear your wife totally outdid you this year first time she shot a deer too and he was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the one that he shot was still in rut, so he was a stinky boy. Mm. And more, you know, he shot him. The boys went to help him 
take care of it. And me and my stepmom got in the trucks and drove up. And I see the hill that like the deer's up on it doesn't look steep at all, y'all. Not at all. And so I'm like, okay, not a problem. Walk up it. I got about three fourths of the way up, y'all. I couldn't freaking breathe. My nephew was like, it's a lot steeper than it looks, huh? And I know it wasn't just me. Everybody was out of breath. So I was like, what's wrong with this hill? Well, that triggered my asthma. So I wheezed all the way home because my smart butt didn't have my inhaler. I was like, really? These are so good. The pink Argentinian shrimp. So, it was fun. So, let's do a weight loss update before I forget because I'm rambling on. Weight loss update, 36 pounds. I have also lost another inch and a half off of my body, which brings me to nine and a half inches. Mm-hmm. I'm happy, y'all. Like, you know, sometimes you get frustrated if that scale isn't moving as fast as you think it should. But, didn't gain it in a day, ain't gonna lose it in a day. I'm not sure if I'm in ketosis or not because my strips are showing small trace amounts. I don't eat anything to knock myself out, but you never know. I like this. But, um, yeah. That's the balsamic vinegar, y'all. When we put it on the tomatoes, the tomatoes release water. Normally, I would drain the tomatoes, but I didn't have time. Mm. It was fun. I had fun. Good memories with my dad. That's the butter from the scampi. We're all supposed to be going to dinner tonight. We'll see. <laughs> Life with my father is unpredictable, so you never know. You never know. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm sure, getting full a lot faster. That's for sure. I love fresh mozzarella. It's so good. And then last night we come back and we were reminiscing about my family. My family, where we were hunting, my family owns a lot of property. And we were reminiscing and talking and talking about good old times. I grew up working on a ranch with my dad out where we were and uh, talking about that and just family you know those are the times that mean a lot to me anyways those are the memories I cherish growing up working on a ranch you learn a lot of good qualities. You learn how to be a hard worker. Um, you know, just a lot of structure qualities.
timeline. You got timelines. Contrary to popular belief. I loved it though. But man. Hawking bills of hay. Them bad boys are heavy, y'all. Let me tell you what. Y'all, see? We finished it. Like I said, that's the water from the tomatoes and the balsamic vinegar. And obviously, I ain't gonna sit here and drink that. This, y'all, you gotta try this, though. This is good. The brand is um, Clear American. I get it at Walmart. <clears throat> um, but yeah, ow. Y'all, I'm so klutzy, I swear. Anyways, I hope that you all had a fantastic Halloween and that you all had a fantastic weekend and your kids had a little bit of fun. Mine has absolutely no interest in Halloween, nor has he ever. So, yeah, just hanging out with the dad today. And I hope that you have a fantastic beginning of your week and I will see you back here on Ghost Story Wednesday. And as always, Stay warm and stay blessed, y'all. Bye, y'all.